play. Today I learned Abigail. Reading. We're going to begin with reading comprehension number 14. Ricky's going to look for his mitt, but as he goes to look for his mitt, he finds many other things. As you begin reading this story, I want you to watch for details. That will help you as you answer the questions on the second page. Answer the questions and solve the puzzles. Give me something. Let's begin checking some of our answers. For section one, in the space below, you were to list at least one detail from the story for each sense Ricky used when searching the toy bin. Give me something that he could see. Students watching. And Emily. Toy bin. Yes, a toy bin. Give me something else. Arthur. Jump rope. Good, jump ropes. Give me something that Ricky could smell. Carson? Grass. Grass, good. Give me something that he could touch. Morgan? <sighs> yes, his mitt, good. The plastic pails, the chalk, the jump ropes, the roller skates, all of those things he could touch. Let's look at number two. You were to answer the following questions by unscrambling the words. Then you were to use the numbered letters to complete the puzzle and discover the main idea of the story. So for the first one, where did the story take place? Arthur? Backyard. Backyard. Well done. What was the weather or what had the weather been like before this story? Students watching? And Caden? Rainy. Rainy. Good. What was the weather like today? Jimmy? Clear. You've got it. Where was Ricky's mitt? Students watching. And Jacob. Uh, out in the backyard. Okay. What two words fit in our puzzle boxes? Arthur. Muddy puddle. Muddy puddle is right. What caused Ricky's mitt to get wet? Madison. Jackson. The rain. No, the rain did cause it to get wet, but how did Ricky contribute to that problem? Caden? He forgot it. Right, so his forgetfulness is what caused him to, caused his mitt to become wet. As you take the letters and put them in number order on the bottom, what is the word along the bottom? Emily? Consequences. Consequences, good thinking. Set your paper to the side, take out your Bibles. We're going to begin reading in 2 Kings 5, and we're going to watch as we read today for who God is and his relationship with man. So I want you to listen for that as we read. Begin reading our words to watch for Carson. Naaman, Syria, Samuel, Short A. Good. Damascus. Good. Valor is courage and might. Leprosy is a disease. Samaria and Syria are places. 
The Syrians would be an enemy of Israel. Abana and Farpar are rivers, and then Damascus is a place. Let's open our Bibles to 2 Kings chapter 5, and let's have Anna and Asa, Emily and Adriana come to be ready to read for us as we listen for God's relationship with man. Anna, come read for us. Now Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man, was his master, and honorable because by him the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man in valor, but he was a leopard. Good accuracy. Just smooth it out, Emily. And the Syrians had gone out Be by... Be a little bit louder for me. And the Syrians had... I'll try again. Hit in crystal. Yeah. Sounded out quickly. And the Syrians mm -hmm. had gone out by companies and had brought away captive out of the land of Israel a little maid, and she waited on Naaman's wife. Smooth last part of your verse. Asa. And she said, and she said, unto, unto her mis mm -hmm. mystery, mistress, mistress, would God, my Lord, wear with the prophet that is in some, some area. Samaria, for he would receive him, recover, uh, recover him of his leprosy. Yes, watch your accuracy. Students watching, you'll continue reading the rest of these verses in this passage. Jump rope. Good jump ropes. Give me something that Ricky could smell. Carson? Grass. Grass. Good. Give me something that he could touch. Morgan? Yes, his mitt, good. The plastic pails, the chalk, the jump ropes, the roller skates, all of those things he could touch. Let's look at number two. You were to answer the following questions by unscrambling the words. Then you were to use the numbered letters to complete the puzzle and discover the main idea of the story. So for the first one, where did the story take place, Arthur? Backyard. Backyard, well done. What was the weather or what had the weather been like before this story? Students watching? And Caden? Rainy. Rainy, good. What was the weather like today, Jimmy? Clear. You've got it. Where was Ricky's mitt, students watching? And Jacob? Uh, out in the backyard. Okay, what two words fit in our puzzle boxes, Arthur? Muddy puddle. Muddy puddle is right. What caused Ricky's mitt to get wet, Madison? Jackson? The rain. No, the rain did cause it to get wet, but how did Ricky contribute to that problem? Caden? He forgot it. Right, so his forgetfulness is what caused him to, caused his mitt to become wet. As you take the letters and put them in number order on the bottom, what is the word along the bottom? Emily. Consequences. Consequences. Go and the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man in valor, but he was a leopard. Good accuracy. Just smooth it out, Emily. And the Syrians had gone out Be by... Be a little bit louder for me. And the Syrians had... I'll try again. It in crystal. Yeah. Sounded out quickly. And the Syrians mm -hmm. had gone out by companies and had brought away captive out of the land of Israel a little maid, and she waited on Naaman's wife. Smooth last part of your verse. Asa. And she said, And she said, 
Unto? Unto her mis- mm-hmm. mystery. Mistress. Mistress. Would God, my Lord, wear with the prophet that is in Sam- Samaria. Samaria, for he would receive him. Recover. Uh, recover him of his leprosy. Yes, watch your accuracy. Students watching, you'll continue reading the rest of these verses in this passage with your aunt's relationship with man. Anna, come read for us. Now Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master and honorable because by him the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man in valor, but he was a leopard. Good accuracy. Just smooth it out, Emily. And the Syrians had gone out Be by... Be a little bit louder for me. And the Syrians had... try again. It in crystal. Sound it out quickly. And the Syrians mm-hmm. had gone out by companies, and had brought away captive out of the land of Israel a little maid, and she waited on Naaman's wife. Smooth last part of your verse. Asa. And she said, And she said, Unto? Unto her mis- mm-hmm. mystery. Mistress. Mistress, would God, my Lord, wear with the prophet that is in some. Sem- Samaria. Samaria, for he would receive him. Recover. Uh, recover him of his leprosy. Yes, watch your accuracy. Students watching, you'll continue reading the rest of these verses in this passage with your on-site teacher.